Everybody. I am just coming on for a second here at the beginning just to let you know what I'm doing today. Um, I have amassed a huge amount of alcohol ink supplies and I bought an airbrush and yada yada yada, swatched everything. So I'm spending the day and I'm just playing in the alcohol ink. I'm going to learn, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to see what I like and what I don't like and I just thought well I'll turn on the camera and bits and pieces of this might just become a video that might help some of you um, along the way as I'm learning and experimenting so I just wanted to start um, I do have a video about how I swatched my Art and Fly alcohol inks as well as some of my Ranger inks so this is a good way to be able to choose the colors that I want to start with and I also pulled out my color wheel because I want to look at my analogous colors that I know will work well together. So I think these colors are going to be just fine because I have my red violet here, my red tone there, a yellow. It's a little lighter than this yellow. This one's a little more orange yellow, but it will mix with that and will be fine. And then these brown tones down here will pick up the teak wood. That's pretty close there. So I think these colors will work. And I just wanted to show you that's how I intend to start. Because I know they're going to mix. And I don't want it to get muddy. So if I mixed in any of the teal and greens with these colors, I'm going to get brown. And I don't want brown. I have brown. So... This is just a normal color wheel that you can buy any art supply store. I'm sure they have them on Amazon. So that's how I started. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm just going to start to play and leave the camera on. I fully intend to be blasting my music and dancing around while I'm doing this. And my music is copyrighted music. So um, in the editing process, that'll go away and... I may add some other music and I might stick my mouth in and blab at you here and there. So, but for all intents and purposes, it's just a play day. So, come on along. Before I start, I ordered a new jar of Art Guard because my old Art Guard was, it was pretty grody. It's been around for a really long time. But this helps protect your hands so that your art supplies will wash off. I hate working in gloves. I don't like to garden in gloves. I don't like to do art in gloves. But alcohol ink always just ends up all over my hands. And so I thought I'll try some fresh art guard and see if it helps get the alcohol ink off my hands that will inevitably be there. So I'll let you know how it works in the end. Hey, really good way to start. I forgot to turn the camera on. So I got this far. I started working on this piece of Duralar craft plastic. It's 12 by 12. And I just put down the colors that I showed you in the beginning. And I really like where it is right now. But it's about to take a turn for the worse, as my alcohol ink usually does. I should have just left it the way it was. But I added some pinata rich gold. I am getting used to the airbrush. Um, it's it's real different and it's going to take some practice, but I think I'm going to like it. But um, I don't like the gold alcohol ink at all. It just made everything just kind of sticky and it didn't move. And anyways. I'm just going to let this run. I might just speed it up a little bit and you watch and you can see what happens.
it's pretty right in here, but this whole section I'm not nuts about. I think I would have liked it better without the brown, although this section right here of brown, that's that teak wood, I do like that. Um, so yeah, there's bits and pieces. This is on Duralar Craft Plastic. It's quite heavy, heavier than Yupo. Maybe about the same as heavy Yupo, um, but way cheaper. So it's it's a good substrate just to do this on, just to play and practice and get used to the inks and the airbrush and all yada yada. Now, you probably saw me, I had a Q-tip and a paper towel. I was able to really get spots and, and bits off that I didn't want at all. It came all the way off. It didn't stain this craft plastic, so that's good to know. Um, I could just flood this whole thing with alcohol and wipe it all off and start over again. I could turn it over and use the other side, but I think I may wipe this off completely. I worked and worked and worked at this little section adding color and blending solution and alcohol and and nothing really helped it very much so I may just try to get rid of that but what I'm thinking about doing with this since I'm experimenting is using it for a mixed media background a base if you will and maybe doing some acrylics on top of it or maybe spraying it through a stencil and wiping stuff off I don't know I'm just gonna keep playing with it um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of this for sure. My eye just keeps going right to that and that's just kind of a hot mess right there. I couldn't stand it. That red, I think it was over here, the paper was turned this way. It was more of a reddish color down here and I just kept making a big mess of it and added the gold and it was a mess anyways. If you watch, if you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give it a spritz of alcohol from way back like I did up there and get some spots. But I'm going to stand way back because I don't want big, even that was too much. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to do any more. And that's um, in just one of those tiny little fine mist spray bottles. Yeah, it hit a lot right there, but that's okay. So I'm calling this done. I'm going to leave it. I kind of like it. You can pick up the gold a little bit here and there when the light hits it, but I'm not crazy about that gold. I did order the Pinata Brass metallic alcohol ink, which is what a lot of people that I see adding metallics, that's what they use. And I talked to Lori Brewer, who does some really awesome alcohol ink videos on YouTube. And um, I chatted with her a little bit, and she said the gold does not um, work anywhere near as good as the brass. That she likes the brass the best. It moves the best. So I have some of that coming. So anyways, not sure what I'll do with it, if anything. I kind of, I see it going this way. I purposely added um, ink to the edge over here because I wanted this kind of diagonal composition with some white space around the other three edges. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry really, really well. And then I may just leave it as is, or I might do something on top of it. I'm having fun on a little piece of Yupo paper. <clears throat> I'm sure I didn't discover this, but can you guys see the flower shapes in here? I'm going to try and do one for you. You'll hear the compressor come on, or I'm going to turn it on before I drop the alcohol. But basically what I discovered was if I put a drop of alcohol and then come straight down with the airbrush and brush it and then um, let the alcohol ink kind of move back in toward the center by itself, and then when it gets to where I want it to stay, I can go around in a circle like this above it and dry it. I'll show you. Hopefully, I'm going to try one. 
Uh, let's see. We have petals here. There's a shape there. There's a shape there. Kind of a shape there. I don't know why that didn't move there. I'm going to try it right in this corner. Corners there because the paper is bent a little bit. I'm going to go in from the corner a bit. There we go. You see where it pushed out? Now watch it come back in. And it creates these cool petals on the outside. And then when that center gets to the point where I want it to stop moving, then I just come up above it and go around and get it dry enough that it stops. Pretty cool, huh? I'm sure a million other people are already doing this, but I just discovered it. Added some orange centers to those flowers and then just spattered the whole thing with um, diluted orange. I diluted it with some alcohol just in a palette with a brush and just spattered it like you would acrylics. The um, <clears throat> art guard did a pretty good job. I had just a few little splashes that kind of stuck to my fingers and I used a tiny little bit of hand sanitizer and it basically came right off. I have never been this clean after using alcohol ink so definitely worth the money if you're messy like me. I'm having fun you guys just playing and seeing what I can learn. I mean I haven't created any masterpieces but it is fun in that flower thing. I was really excited about. Okay. We'll see you later. Go make some art. <laughs>